For in and for of are ways to loop through objects. For in will loop through property names and for of will loop through property values. Here is the basic usage. We have for and then you have to put a variable in and then the object name and then down here is what you want to do. And then for of, for the variable name of object and then some statements of what you want to do. So that's the basic usage. Let's look at some actual examples. I'm going to create a variable here. Let person equal f, f name Bo, L name Carnes, arms two, because I do have two arms. So I'm going to create this object person, and I'm also going to create an array, and we're just going to have three numbers in it, three, five, seven, and then we're going to create a custom property on the array and call it hello. So first we're going to use the person object. We create this for in loop. We're going to have a variable x in person. Here we're going to loop through the property names. So I'm showing that we're going to add something to this text variable. We're going to add person and then we're going to get the property name. This is actually just a way to, to add the property value to text because when you have an object and you in the bracket you put the property name, it's going to get the value of that property and we're going to add it to text. And then I'm going to console.log the property name and then we're going to console.log text, which is all the property values that we added to up here. Let's see that. Okay, so you can see we have F name, L name, and arms. That's when we're console.logging X, and X is always the property name. And then here we're passing in the property value to text, and we're going to console.log text. Okay, now the of loop, the for of loop, will not work on person because person is not iterable. The, the for in loops through innumerable properties while for of loops through iterable objects such as array, map, and set. So let's just give you an example. We have this array here and I'm going to create another loop. I'm going to show you for in and for of on this one. If you use for in on arrays, it will return the name of your user defined properties in addition to the numeric indexes. This usually is not what you want. When iterating over arrays, you usually want to use a traditional for loop. So let me show you what I mean. So I made the for in loop. I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to turn that into a for of loop. And let's run that. When we do the let i in array, and we're going to console.log that, this is actually going to return the numeric indexes. Look, the array is 3, 5, 7, but what we're returning is 0, 1, 2, and then foo, because 0 is the index of 3, 1 is the index of 5, and 2 is the index of 7, because arrays just count 0, 1, 2, and so on for the indexes. And then we're also going to return any user-defined properties and we've set foo, foo right here is the user defined property. Now that's what the in loop is going to do. The of loop is going to be a little bit more of what you expect. It's just going to go through all the items in the array. The items in the array are 3, 5, and 7. Hello is not actually in the array, it's just the value of this user defined property. So that's four in loops and four of loops. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Check the description for links for more information. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.